Hi friends, um, today I'm going to show you how to attach the letters and kind of connect them together when you're using um, like a calligraphy or a cursive type font in Cricut Design Space. Now as you can see here, I just chose a cursive font, this everyday font, and this is how it comes. It comes very, very widely spaced apart with the letters, and I'm not sure why, because with cursive letters, I, in my opinion, feel like they should always be touching, but that's not the case with this for some reason. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. So once you go ahead and choose your text and your font you want to use, give you a couple seconds to do that. Um, so after you have that done, so let me show you just the old way how I used to do things, and this is the very, very, very hard way. So if you like to do things the hard way, you can follow along. If not, I will show you an easier way. So what I used to do is click on group, and this works just fine, but it turns out very messy. So when you click on group, each of these letters becomes unattached, and you can move them. But like, you can already tell, like this is extremely crooked, and I don't know what I'm doing. You can see here it goes straight, then it kind of curves up. So we're going to just undo this, and I'm going to show you the easier way. So I'm going to, oh, I think you're back together now, let's see, yep, okay. Um, so I got them all grouped back together how it was before. So you can actually just go up here with the letter spacing and go down and space them as tightly as you want. Depending on what font you use, some of them are going to be spaced more than others and some of them not as much. I had one font I used that was negative 15 spacing apart which is crazy. Okay so from here now you can ungroup the letters. See how the L, I, N, D is perfect? Same with the S and E. But the D and the S are not grouped together how I want them. So I'm just going to ungroup just those couple and move it a little bit closer and I'm going to do the same with the Y and link that together too. Perfect. And that sure beats linking all of them together because that takes forever. So that looks really nice. So I'm going to select it all and attach it. And this would be perfect if, let me just show you, let me change the font here. Okay, so if that's all I had to do, that would be awesome. Unfortunately, there is one more step to this. So if you, if I zoom in here, you can see where it attaches here. So if you just go ahead and click make it right now, you're going to see all the different lines. It's going to cut each individual line right here and right here and right here. And we don't want that because that is going to look sloppy. So select it all. Go ahead and click weld. And see how it got rid of all the separate lines and it connects them a lot evenly now. That's what you want to do. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. And you can go ahead and click make it from there. And that is perfect. Um, I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you all have a terrific day.